Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Jonas Academy. Um, friends, in this video, we are going to learn different different sheet metal fabrication processes. Sheet metal is very very important in any manufacturing industry. You must have seen all of this different different sheet metals of different categories, different materials. Friends, uh, now this sheet metal operations, different different sheet metal operations that we are going to learn in this today's video. So friends, if you are new over here on my education channel, please consider subscribing and please press the bell icon. It is absolutely free of cost. Sheet metal fabrication processes, it includes the different operations like cutting, forming, punching, welding or other joining processes such as riveting well all of these processes are extremely important but right now in this video we are only going to talk about the punching process the different different cutting sheet metal cutting which includes the punching processes well most of the processes i have already made some videos such as plasma cutting laser cutting water jet cutting so these are the special type of the cutting uh, sheet metal fabrication processes that needs the different plasma cutting machines cnc machines for this cutting so you can you can check the old videos on this channel also regarding welding also i have made the tungsten inert gas welding metal inert gas welding all of these welding videos i have made so please check out so now let's begin with our today's topic. So sheet metal operations like sheet metal is a very, very vast industry. And there are n number of the operations n number of the products being manufactured in the sheet metal industry. So over your friends, these are some of the products that you can see. This is nothing but the uh, particular housing we can call it as different, different panel housings are made of the sheet metals. AHU, air handling units, it is made up of the sheet metal. Now friends, in order to manufacture this particular housing, there are n number of the operations that, been, that has been carried out. Over here, bending operation is carried out. Over here, punching operation is carried out in this portion. And to form all of these slots, perforating is carried out. So friends, all of these operations are listed over here. So sheet metal operations are mainly categorized into two different categories. First one is nothing but the cutting and the second one is forming. This particular cutting includes blanking, punching, notching, perforating, trimming, shaving, slitting, lancing, nibbling. So these nine are cutting operations. Whereas these four are the forming operations that is bending, drawing, redrawing, squeezing. In all of those operations, there is actual cutting takes place. It means metal is stressed out beyond its ultimate tensile strength and ultimately metal gets breakdown in all of these cutting operations. Whereas in this forming operation, the metal gets formed into different shapes that's all all of these operations can be carried out with the help of this particular die set this die set consists of punch and die into which different different operation is carried out well friends this die set we will be learning in our next video so now let's understand our first operation that is nothing but the blanking so over here this blanking is the operation of cutting a flat shaped sheet metal which could be round hexagonal square rectangular any kind of the flat shaped sheet metal it is formed and the punched out is called a blank means this particular punched out uh, product it is called a blank and this is the actual product over here it means from the pile of this sheet metal whenever a punching gets carried out this particular okay this particular 
product is my final required product so it is known as the blankie and this particular part is known as blank the rest of the sheet metal it means this rest of the sheet metal it becomes scrap in this case blankie now all these type of the different different shapes can be blanked out from a sheet metal and now this is my actual required product this is my actual final product so a metal workpiece is removed from the primary metal strip or sheet when it is punched so this is my actual product so this process is known as the blanking process so whenever the blanking is carried out but whereas the cylindrical pieces are to be punched out from the parent material from a metal sheet then this process is known as the piercing process the diameter is very less like you must have heard about the piercing nose piercing ear piercing so a small cylindrical piece gets come out okay is known as the piercing process over here the metal which is comes out okay or the metal which is punched out is considered as a scrap in piercing so moving ahead next is nothing but the punching process so it is the cutting operation by which the various shaped holes are made in sheet metal punching is similar to the blanking except that in punching the hole is desired product and final punch out to form the hole is being west means over here in punching it is exact opposite to that of the blanking operation over here this particular part e will be the scrap and this plate having different different holes in it this is my ultimate required product over here a punch will get you know force apply a punching force on the sheet metal and uh, in the die cavity there will be the slag or we can call it as a scrap metal will be coming out so it will form a desired opening desired hole having different uh, cavities different shapes so this process is known as the punching process there is a slight difference between the blanking and punching in the case of the blanking this will be my required product okay this will be my required product in case of blanking whereas in punching my this will be my required product and this will be the scrap this will be scrap so this is the main fundamental difference between the punching process so moving ahead next is nothing but the notching so this notching process involves the cutting a rectangular piece of metal out of the larger sheet so over here this notch is provided so over here this notch is provided this is the notch is provided this is the circular notch v notch so this notching happens to the edge of the metal sheet and it is used to attach the sheet to something else means suppose if you want to attach different sheet into this particular slot we can carry out notching process the process is done when the notching machine or with the help of the shearing machine suppose uh, we want to bend the work pieces okay we want to bend so now we have cut into this particular profile over here this is the notch provided this is the notch on all the four sides of my sheet metal over here this will be a bending line so this will be the bending line and on the fourth sides it will be carry out bending so we can say that this notching is the initial step before bending process so cutting of the rectangular or uh, the different different notches so it is a notching process moving ahead next is nothing but the perforating one of my favorite sheet metal process that is perforating so you must have seen on the 
on the rooftop in air handling unit there are small small holes are there through which the air will come out so all of this you know circular sections are made through the process known as the perforating where all the manufacturers where where manufacturers put holes in a sheet metal also known as the punching operation in very bulk over here it requires a specialized tool called a press hammer or cnc punching machine machines so this this is known as the perforating over here you can see this is the perforations oblong holes are there on a sheet metal now friends these perforations will have a you know wide variety of applications such as in a case of heat exchangers heat exchangers there are the different different perforated plates having different different perforations having different different sizes also in air handling units there are perforation friends moving ahead next is nothing but the trimming so trimming is nothing but the cut, cutting out the unwanted material unwanted or excess material from the previously formed component so it is known as the trimming process very simple so my this is my product which is deep drawn from a press okay and we need to remove all of this extra material extra unwanted material so this will be my final finished product so for this trimming will be carried out and this trimming can be carried out on shearing machines next is nothing but the shaving so whenever a blanking is carried out this particular hole or the edges it is very very sharp okay and it requires some sort of the finishing operation so for that this shaving is carried out so edges of the blank part are generally rough uneven or unsquared accurate dimensions of the parts are obtained by removing the thin strip of the metal from edges removing a very thin strip of the metal from the edges this is my blank part this is my blank part so over here we are removing a thin strip of metal from the edges and this operation is termed as a shaving operation so friends this could be my you know finishing operation shaving operation over here for this shaving there will be a shave clearance given on the die set itself so this distance is known as the shave clearance so it is a finishing operation the next one is nothing but the slitting operation so slitting is a workpiece slitting is the operation of making incomplete holes in the workpiece so over here you can see this is a hole incomplete hole where there is no material is removed there is no actual cutting is cutting is cutting operation is there but no material removal takes place in this operation that is slitting over here there are two rollers the upper knife and the lower knife and these two no, no, knives will rotate you know at a different directions to perform this slitting process now this slitting and is mainly suitable to uh, handle the very large coil or very large pile stock of different sheet metals over here you can see this is my slitting machine this slitting machine is cutting my roller this uh, thin sheet of uh, metal into uh, different different uh, along the different different distances as per the requirement so this is a slitting machine over your friends you can see slitting line so over here this is the slitter head and this is unprocessed coil this unprocessed coil goes into slitter head and then we can see a uh, different different over here this is a recoiler is there so you know this slitting operation is carried out 
to handle the different coil stock of the thin thin sheet metals moving ahead next is nothing but the lancing operation so it is the cutting process into which the hole is partially cut you can see this is a hole this hole is partially cut this hole is partially cut and then one side it bend down to form a sort of a tab then this particular reed is partially cut and then it is carried out bending operation bending operation so this is known as the lancing process it is used in automotive for creating vents okay for creating vents and louvers in auto parts in especially used in hvacs to carry out the duct works moving and the last one is nothing but the nibbling process so nibbling is a technique like uh, it is a punching process multiple punches are carried out to form a desired shape so over here punching operation is carried out punching operation punching operation punching operation so this particular different different punching operation is carried out to produce the different different types of cutouts so it is a multiple punching process so this process is often used in plastic working to produce both the simple details and the complex shape so this is a free from free form cutting type of the process that is nothing but the nibbling so friends that was all about the different different sheet metal operations we have seen blanking punching notching perforating trimming shaving slitting lancing and nibbling so friends i hope you have understood these uh, sheet metal fabrication processes so if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel venus academy